Nysora videos. Like all other Nysora simulators, the Popliteal and IPAC block simulator comes in a custom design box, which is convenient for carrying and storage. On the custom tray, there are clear labels as to which part of the body the simulator belongs to. Clear instructions for use are also provided, and all anatomical landmarks and abbreviations that are featured are printed on the label that accompanies the tray. To begin practicing, apply a generous amount of gel on the surface of the simulator. Before sonographing, it is important to increase the ultrasound gain because of the difference in the simulator material and real human tissue. On the ultrasound image, we can see the biceps muscle laterally, semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscles medially, the popliteal vein and the artery, and the sciatic nerve in the popliteal fossa. The scanning is performed until the tibial and common peroneal nerve separate to allow for needle insertion between them. At the bottom of the image, we can also see a bright surface, which corresponds to the posterior aspect of the femur or cortex of the femoral bone. In this particular example, the needle is placed in plane to approach the sciatic nerve in the popliteal fossa. The angle of the needle is gradually adjusted until it pierces the sheath where the injection in a popliteal sciatic block would be made. In addition, this simulator can also be used to perform an IPAC block, a procedure described in the instructions for use that accompany the simulator. The instructions can also be downloaded at medexpress.pro. Thank you.